Thank you for listening to another video from Baylor at Kauai TV Boxing Channel. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, leave your comments, share the videos and retweet. Thanks and appreciate it. Okay, so it's well documented that David Hay will be making his press conference announcement tomorrow of his next opponent. Stories are going around that it could be Mark Demore, the Australian, who will be um, David Hay's comeback opponent. Now, if it is Mark Demore, then I do know a little bit about Mark Demore. I do know that he was once managed by Don King, uh, or managed promoted by Don King, and he was one of the few heavyweights that actually I saw work into the body. He's a stocky sort of build. He looks more like a bodybuilder. Um, he likes to get you to the ropes and throw body shots. Um, he's not the greatest defensive box. He boxes behind a like a like like the Floyd Mayweather shoulder roll sort of thing. That's what defense he's got. Um, he's got short arms. Um, powerful enough puncher, but got knocked out by a guy who had 14 defeats. So make what you want of that. Got a draw against Le uh, Alex Leopold. So, I mean, I know people are talking about some stupid talk about him coming back and, you know, fighting somebody in the top 10. Let's be honest, David Hayes has been out for three years. He's now 35 years old. I'm going to be interested to see how he looks by the time he gets back in the ring, 35 years old. I'm going to be interested to see whether he's still got that speed, power and movement. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what he's got there. A lot of people are saying that He's only come back for a payday against Anthony Joshua. Wow, if he's come back just to get a payday against Anthony Joshua, things must have gotten really bad. The fact that he doesn't believe that he could just move on and maybe challenge Wilder for the heavyweight championship of the world. Mm, I don't know. Um, I still want to know why David Hayes is coming back. Question marks about why he would go. All the trainers in the world he would go to would go to Shane McGuigan. Is David Hayes cutting corners in terms of you know, his financial situation, I don't know, um, I'm not sure what Shane McGuigan can give David Hay in terms of training experience, no disrespect to Shane McGuigan, but he's pretty still young in the sport in comparison to David Hay, former unified cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, you know, I, I, I do struggle to see how Shane McGuigan is actually going to be working with Hay. At this stage of his career at 35, I can't imagine that David Hayes is going to suddenly become an inside fighter. So I think it probably just be polishing David up and getting ready for, you know, whoever he's going to be fighting. If it's not Mark Demore, there was talk about Malik Scott and Martin Rogan. I can't really see Hay fighting Martin Rogan, to be honest. Malik Scott's a possibility. And if not Malik Scott, the first fight, then possibly Malik Scott, the second fight he could have. After he fights Mark Demore, if it's Mark Demore. But, um, yep, yeah, I think a lot of people are still upset with David Hay. Often people ask me, well, why are you doing things about David Hay? Why are you talking about David Hay? David Hay is still a part of boxing. Um, so I will cover David Hay on the channel. Um, you know, your personal bias mustn't come before you talking about certain people in the sport regardless of what I may feel about David Hay I don't hate David Hay but to these things he did he did pull out of fights um, he did say he had injuries there were questionable injuries a lot of people paid a lot of money to get hotel rooms um, a lot of fighters had paid money for training camps you know and David Hay pull out on them I know there are some people on 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 uh, YouTube that are a bit um, boxed in when it comes to thinking about other people and can only think about their own opinions but um, yeah it's because I'm stating the truth and the facts it doesn't mean that I uh, I hate David Hay I'm just stating the facts and I state the facts over and over and over again did he pull out the fights yes did he pull out of injuries? Yes. Did he pull out in Tyson Fury twice? Yes. Did he pull out on Vladimir uh, Vitaly Klitschko? Yes. Did he pull out on um, Man War Shark? Yes. He pulled out on all those fights. All right. So those are the facts. 
And should I be upset about it? Well, sure, of course I should. And what I don't want to see, I hope I don't see, is all these journalists come up and be nice to David. Said, oh, David, how's training going? Are you looking forward to coming back? Ask the man what happened. Why has he been out of the wrong ring so long? Asking some challenging questions. But I'm sure... As a sport of backbiting, as Peter Fury says, it's true, it's a backbiting sport. I would not be surprised to see a lot of people there with cameras interviewing David Hay just to ask him questions that, you know, they're happy to get views with as opposed to asking controversial questions. I congratulate anybody who decides to ask David Hay controversial questions. And believe me, if I could, I would go to London and I would ask him controversial questions. Not because I want views. But because it's part of doing journalist asking questions, you know. But anyway, that's the end of my those thoughts there. I'm out. Take care.